Hey guys, it's Darwin here with something a little bit different to start off the new year, my 2021 bikepacking gear list. Whew, all right, so I braved the cold to come out here to shoot this video for you guys because I was really tired of shooting inside, but I didn't ride out here. I'm actually wearing jeans it's 14 degrees outside, and um, I think I actually have some frost in my beard, if you can see that. So, if you saw my recent video I put out called Odyssey, A Bikepacking Story, which is essentially a short film about my history with cycling and all of my weight loss, you'll know that I'm finally ready to start bringing more bike content back to the channel in 2021. I actually haven't really made any bikepacking content since 2016. I've dabbled a little bit in some bike adventures over the years, like my 2018 bike tour of the Blue Ridge Parkway, but something I've gotten a ton of requests for for years, especially recently, is an updated bikepacking gear list. Basically everything that I carry on my bike when I go out for a trip, and well, the bike itself. I actually haven't done a bikepacking gear list video since October, 2016 so I think um, I think we're about due for one and before we really get into the video and I show you all of my stuff just know that in order to get into bike packing you don't have to have some fancy custom bike you don't have to have all these super special particular custom bags you can use any bike that you already have you can use any bags that you already have so if you're somebody that's trying to get into bike packing know that you don't have to spend a ton of money and if you want some resources for beginners i'll put some links down below to a video that i shot back in 2019 and some articles over on my website the outdoor evolution that will help you get started figuring out what type of bags that you need, some budget options, and how to get out on your first bikepacking trip. Whew, can you guys tell that I'm cold? I'm shivering a little bit. Um, plus, I think I still have frost to my beard. All right, so first off, let's talk about my rig. The bike that I've been riding for the past two years is a 2019 Kona Rove ST. So you can buy this bike uh, as a complete bike stock. However, I bought mine as a frame and I built it up custom. Now, the main reason I did that is because a lot of the parts from my old bike transitioned over to this part. And again, I worked in a bike shop, so I got some awesome pro deals on parts. Now, to not bore the non-bike people, I won't go over every single thing on my custom build. If you guys wanna check that out, I'll put it up here on the screen real quick and you can pause the video to look at that. Or I'll also leave a link down below to my full build and all of the gear that I'm going to be talking about in today's video. And speaking of all the gear and how to load it up, the packing system that I use is a three bag system. So I have my frame bag that basically always stays on the bike and then I have a seat pack and a handlebar bag. Now my seat pack and my handlebar bag sometimes switch out to different bags depending on what type of weather that I'm going to be bikepacking in. But in today's video and today's gear loadout, I'm basically gonna show you what I'm starting off in 2021 with and what I'll be using for an upcoming trip in February. All right, so let's take each bag off, let's spread everything out and I'll show you what I keep where. So first up is my frame bag. This is a Rogue Panda Designs custom bag that is made exactly for my frame. It's made out of an X-Pack material and it is a lace top bolt-on model. So you can see the lace there on my top tube and then it's actually bolted on to where my bottle cages would be bolted on inside of the frame. Uh, it has one main zipper, so one main compartment Inside of that bag are these items down here. So first off, what I'm gonna keep inside of my frame bag is going to be my shelter, which is a Z-Pax Ultiplex DCF shelter. It's the same one that I use when I do all of my backpacking. Along with that, I have a set of 10 Easton Nano aluminum stakes and a 60 inch 
carbon fiber tent pole. And that is made specifically for the Altiplex. The next thing that I keep inside of my frame bag is a Knock Vecto 2 liter water bladder. I keep this in there so if I do have to carry extra water, if it's a big dry section, I can keep all of that low on my center of gravity. And then the last thing that I keep inside of my frame bag is my DCF food bag along with all of my food. And I also keep my long handle spoon inside of there. And that is about it. That is all that I keep inside of the frame. Basically, I wanna make sure that my shelter is in there and then my fluctuating weight like food and water. All right, so next up is my seat pack. This is a Swift Industries Zeitgeist. It is made out of an X-Pack material, just like my frame bag, and I use the Caradice Bagman seat rail rack. Basically, that is for stabilizing the bag to make sure it does not swing around a lot. Now, this bag has one big main compartment and then two little side pockets. And in one of those side pockets, I keep all of my repair items. So all of my tools or things that I need to do repairs while I'm in the field. I keep a bottle of lube for lubricating and cleaning my chain. I have a rag to clean my chain with. A small tubeless tire repair and patch kit. A specialized multi-bike tool, and that does have a chain breaker on there. And I also keep a spare inner tube just in case my tubeless tires do not seal correctly. Now in the other pouch, I keep my water filter to make sure that I can filter out any nasty water that I might have in the field. And my hygiene kit, like my trowel and my bidet. No, I do not use shit tickets on the bike either. I use a travel bidet. So inside of that main compartment, I do keep my sleep system. So first off is my UGQ Bandit XL 20 degree quilt. And that is in a DCF roll top waterproof bag. I have my Thermarest Uberlight sleeping pad. Next up is my Sea to Summit Eros pillow and my Enlightened Equipment Sidekick sleep booties. And last but not least are some extra clothes to sleep in, which are a pair of Patagonia lightweight tights, a pair of extra socks, and my Appalachian Gear Company alpaca beanie. And then the last thing that I keep back there is my main thermal jacket, which is my Enlightened Equipment Torrid Apex synthetic jacket. Aside from that, the only other thing that I might throw in that rear bag is a pair of sandals in case I'm doing something really long and I want to get out of my cycling shoes. Next up is my handlebar bag, which is another Swift Industries Zeitgeist. Again, that's made out of X-Pack. And they designed this bag to actually be a seat pack or a handlebar bag. So I do have that set up with some different straps to run on the front. And then inside of that bag, the first thing that I want to keep in there is my Gossamer Gear 8th inch foam pad. Now I use this both as an ass pad, something to stretch out on, something to take a nap on or take a break on, but I also put it under my sleeping pad at night to give it a little bit more protection and a little bit more warmth. The next thing that I keep up there is my cook system. So just like my backpacking gear, I have my Snowpeak Titanium 700 mug. I have a little can of fuel, my BRS stove, um, still the same stove that I've been kicking for all these years, and a Bic Mini lighter. And all that stuff goes into a small DCF stuff sack just to keep it all together. So the next thing that I'm gonna keep inside of my handlebar bag is my DCF Diddy Bag. And inside of that Diddy Bag, first off, I'm gonna have all of my electronics. So I have my Anchor PowerCore 10,000 milliamp PD charger. 
I have a small charging brick to charge that when I'm in a town, a couple of random cables, and my headlamp for at camp. And that's actually a new headlamp for me, which is the Nightcore NU25 that I have modded with a bungee strap. And up top, I'm also gonna keep in my front handlebar bag my camera, which the camera that is sitting right here that I've been using lately on trips is a Canon M6 Mark II with a 24 to 70 millimeter lens with a speed booster, a little mini mic, and my tripod, which is the Ultrapod 2. Next up in my ditty bag, I'm gonna keep all of my hygiene. So I have my Luco tape, some repair items, just in case something breaks on the trail. I have my little mini toothbrush, a thing of Dr. Broner's toothpaste, my mini Viltrox knife, I have my Rology cork massage ball, and then the last handful of items that I'm gonna keep up there in that handlebar bag are an extra thermal cycling cap that has some ear flaps, I have my extra pair of short finger gloves in case it starts getting warm while I'm riding. And last but not least is my rain slashed wind jacket, which is the Enlightened Equipment Bisp rain jacket. I really, really dig this, especially over my last rain jacket that I had. All right, so that takes care of all of the bags. Next up are the clothes that I ride in and some random items that are on my bike with me. First off are my shorts of choice, which are the Patagonia Dirtcraft shorts. Now, those do have a chamois on the inside of them, so a liner with a padding, uh, just for more comfortable riding. I have one of my favorite tops ever, which is the Outdoor Research Echo Sun Hoodie. Um, awesome, comfortable hoodie. I've basically been riding, hiking, doing everything in that lately. And then I also have just a random long sleeve flannel shirt that I like to wear on top of that. Um, whenever you're riding sometimes, it does get a lot chillier than when you're hiking because you're moving faster and there's a lot of wind hitting you. So I kind of like to have two different layers. And then down here I have my buff because I wouldn't go on any adventure without my UV buff and my pair of prescription shades. All right, moving over are my cycling shoes of choice, which are the Shimano CX-5s. And those do have an SPD clip on the bottom that clip into my pedals. A pair of darn tough socks. Those are the higher, they're not the low cut like I wear when I'm hiking. Those are merino wool, obviously. A pair of Pearl Azumi Cyclone cycling gloves. Those do have the padded palms and they're long finger because I've been riding a lot in the fall and winter. I like just having a little bit more protection on my hands. I usually wear a random cap under my helmet and that is my cool Renegade cap. And then last but not least is my helmet to protect my brain, which is a puck ohm air spin super comfortable helmet nice and aerodynamic as well the next items are randomly attached to my bike so first off is this little bag that you've probably seen on my handlebars right behind my handlebar bag this is a swift industries sidekick now basically what that is it's a little pouch that I can put a water bottle in or snacks or my phone. Um, I typically keep a water bottle in there. And the type of water bottle that I keep in there is a one liter smart water bottle or a Essentia bottle or basically any type of small disposable one liter bottle. Moving on down are some bike specific electronics. So first up is I don't always use it, but I carry it every once in a while and that is a Garmin Edge Explore 500 computer. I have a Knight Rider Sabre rear light, so if I am riding at night, I can make sure cars can see me coming up on me. And then a Surface True 250 headlight to make sure that I can see if I'm riding at night. And then the next two things that are attached to my down tube are a random stainless steel water bottle 
And lastly, a Lazine pressure drive pump so I can put air in my tires. All right, so there you go. That's everything that I carry on my rig to go out and do a bike packing trip. As you can see, most of the stuff that I have is the same gear that I would be using on a backpacking trip, on a through hike, aside from that extra gear that I'm gonna need for maintenance and safety. And when it comes to base weight, I have no clue what my base weight is on a bike. It's not something I really worry about because I'm not carrying it on my back. It's not overloading my knees. I have this awesome steel Sherpa to carry whatever I need. You know, sometimes I carry more luxury items. I might carry a bigger camera and more lenses. I've actually thought about picking up a Tinkara fishing rod to carry on some of my trips. It really comes down to just figuring out where you can put what on the bike. And obviously I make sure that I'm not putting too much on there so I'm not struggling to get up some sort of big climb or something. So hopefully this video gave you a little bit of an insight onto what I carry on my bike packing trips. And if you're starting to get into the idea of going out on a two-wheeled adventure, hopefully this video will help you have an idea of what you need to put together to have an awesome bike packing trip. Again, if you are a beginner and you want some awesome information on where to get started and the different types of packing systems that you can use and even some budget bag items, I'll leave some links down below. But regardless, if you have a bike hanging in your garage right now, if you have some backpacking bags and some backpacking gear sitting in a closet, you can go out for your first bikepacking trip. So are you looking at getting into bikepacking in 2021? Do you wanna see me make more bikepacking content over this year? Leave me something down below and let me know your thoughts. If you found any value in this video, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And as always guys, thanks for watching. Now I'm gonna get the heck out of here because God, it's cold. Ooh.